Eddie, welcome to Quebec. Thank you. In the snow and the cold. Yes. You will survive, One, I think. Two, three, four, Tell me five, about six, 2024 seven, eight, related nine, to your ten. girls in your team. What are the plans? So far. Yeah, I mean, they've become a big part of our business and a, a big so part of our yeah. roster. You know, Absolutely. I think um, the one thing that's been continuously pleasing is that they're all willing to fight everybody, yeah. all the champions, straight away, undisputed, move up in weight divisions, down in weight divisions, and you know, I think we keep, we must keep staging the major fights. Obviously, Katie Taylor will now look to fight outdoors this summer. You know, 60, 70,000 people potentially in Ireland. Could Huge be against, opportunity for yeah, her and maybe for, a and for women. Cameron th third fight. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got Ellie Scottney looking to unify the super bantamweight division. Um, you've got, you know, um, so, so many also younger fighters. We've got our fighters that are well established. Sandy Ryan, the welterweight world champion. Terry Harper, the 154 pound champion. But you've got a lot of young fighters coming through. You know, people like Sky Nicholson is ready to fight for the world title. Shannon Ryan is a very good prospect at Super. She's fighting weight. soon. Yeah, Emma Dolan in a, in a really good fight. Maisie Rose in the same weight class as well. Rhiannon Dixon about to fight for the world title. Like what about Ramla Danny Bridges? Ali. She she lost yeah, her be title, back. but she'll like she back. could yeah, have yeah, other opportunities. She very always fast. has great fights. Yes. You know, always entertaining. She didn't perform that night, but she'll be back. She looks to try and get a rematch with Yoshida. You know, you've got other champions in that weight class, Nina Hughes, you know, looking. Everybody's trying to unify. The one thing is, is, you know, we want to make sure that the opportunities, particularly financially, yeah. are the same for women. True. But one thing about equality, right? Just because a female uh, middleweight champion is, is a female middleweight world champion and a male middleweight world champion, it doesn't mean they should necessarily get the same money. True. Equality is about the value. The value, and the worth, the and value, the commercial the worth. worth. So the problem is, is that now there are so many world championships, so many world, world, world championships, it's difficult to, you know, you need to det really determine the difference between just a normal world championship and one that sells tickets, ones that drive subscribers. It's all about opportunities. It is, it is. So we just got to make sure that we keep pushing on for women's boxing. It's a massive part of what we do. I'm a big believer in it. Um, and looking to really, I think 2024 for us is about making sure that the new stars of female boxing emerge. Yes, you know, to replace the ones who are going to retire and Taylor soon. Taylor and, you know, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Natasha Jonas, Michaela Meyer, Alicia Baumgart, you know. Who's coming next? That's really important. And that's what we're going to be working towards in 2024. Talk to me a little bit about Beatrice Ferreira, one of my favorites Amazing. for sure. Yeah, Beatrice Ferreira for me. I mean, we actually have a, this, this is actually breaking news. Um, we have a situation at the moment where Caroline Dubois, who's very good, yes. is mandated to fight Rhiannon Dixon. Absolutely. Rhiannon Dixon also has another opportunity to fight for a world title. So if she goes that way, then the IBF will order the next in line, which is Beatrice Ferreira. So Caroline Dubois will fight Beatrice Ferreira. For me, one of the best fights in women's this boxing. This is the right? fight. They're both young. You know, they're both quite early in their career. But great. Wow. Future you know, female stars. 100%. Beatrice yeah. is one of my favorite fighters. She's incredible. She's, She's heading to the Olympics yes, as well. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, hopefully once she finishes in the Olympics, she can just focus full time on her professional career. I believe she'll be a multi-weight world champion she's sure. a great amateur boxer but i do believe her style is way more professional yeah, yeah. but it's amazing that she can use that style in the amateurs and still win everything yeah many people who are successful in amateurs box the amateur style yeah and then can't really adapt she's actually got a style that wins it was in both, very you know. easy for her to switch yeah 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 thank you so much thanks for the interview